What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. All right, again, I'm back, folks. You know who it is. I got to do it. I like doing these, so I give them to you. I give them to you rugged and raw. So uh, I'm back in the building, and business has picked up. So let's get it on and let's get it cracking. Today I want to talk about how there's no return on your investment this year. Talk about Congress. Now, Congress, after their layoff, or not their left, their uh, two-week Easter break, Congress is back in session, and the, they're going to vote on items that are set. They're setting themselves up for later in the year uh, elections in November. Uh, that's all they're doing. They're setting themselves up for like the midterms. Uh, uh, both parties have bills that are in works, which will force lawmakers, which is good for once, they're going to force lawmakers to go on record with the issues that may help voters go to the polls. Like, they're getting Democrats out of it. If you look at my videos, and here's the thing about it, if you look at my videos and the date of my videos, all the stuff is happening now that I say is happening. I got a video about the war on wages I made last year, or two years ago, that said 2014 is going to be the war on wages. And 2014 is the war on wages, folks. You, got, you just got to look. Read it. It is. I don't know what it is. You know, I just called that out. But the Democrats are trying to raise the minimum wage, and they're going to force the Republicans. And what it is is, like, say you, if you're a Republican and you vote no for the minimum wage, come November, you're going. They're going to remember this. You know what I mean? They're going to. This is the campaign that goes. Well, Senator so and so, or Republican so, or uh, Representative so and so, voted against the minimum wage. That's what we're trying to do. That's what they're trying to do. This is both sides of both sides have bills, by the way. You know, the Republicans want to boost charter schools. So if the Democrats vote against it, they're going to say they're weak on schooling and this, that, and the fifth. You know how it goes. So it's probably unlikely that you'll see any spending bills that are going to get wrapped up by the midterms. So all they're going to do, they're going to give you another stopgap legislation as far as like the. Uh, fiscal cliff. But if you watch my videos, I tell you, every fiscal cliff we don't fall off of. But if we fall off of, all these guys that are in there now are going to get voted out of office. If you ever notice on every fiscal cliff that we ever had in American history, we never fell off a fiscal cliff. You want to know why? Because those legislators don't want to be the guys saying that, you know, hey, we were the ones and who's going to get the blame? And whoever the party, like say the Republicans are like, like they're the ones right now that are uh, quote unquote the bad guys of parties. The Republicans are slick enough to know that if they hold their guns on this and they fall off, both houses are going to be Democratic. You got a Democratic president, they're going to run the gambit on all of y'all. So what they do is they play hardball long enough to where they stuck by their guns, but at the same time they can play the victim and like, hey, the Democrats are a bunch of assholes. You know how they do. But all these bills, all they're doing is, I'm t I tell you folks, they're billing for the midterm elections. What they're going to do is whatever bill, and, and these are like bills that are finally affecting us to, to the heart. So what they're going to say is like the, like the minimum wage. Who all, I mean, I feel the minimum wage should be raised. But it says so-and-so doesn't feel like it. That's my attack ad, and that's what I'm going to keep putting my pen in the voodoo dog. Well, Senator so-and-so voted negative on the minimum wage tax, yet he made 200 something dollars an hour filibuster in this bill. I, that's, that's just me, you know. So that's why you got to pay attention to these bills that are getting passed now, because they're going to affect you, but in the long run, they're going to affect them come November. So. Just a side note, you know, just just be very close because it's going to affect your pocket. It's going to affect your taxing. It's going to affect your income. So you need to you need to check your representatives and your senators on what their stance are on these because if they're not your stance, your stance has to get you have to make a stand to get them out.
I'm out.